Hey, what's up, YouTube? Matt from the Gold Bros. Coming to you guys in the video today. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I break in gloves. So as you guys can see, I'm using the GoPro totally hands-free. So I'm just going to jump right into it. I do apologize if the, you know, the light's a little off. I'm still working on the light with the GoPro. And that angle is very wide. I do know that. That's just how GoPros are. So if you could see, like, my old, like toy box over there, I apologize. Or... At first you saw the foot or you know you can see a little bit of the camera let me do that so you guys can't see that okay that should be much much better all right so let's hop right into it so um, I'm gonna be showing you guys um, infield gloves first uh, I'm gonna be doing a different video for different gloves so I'm gonna start with infield gloves then I'm gonna go to outfield pitchers first base mitts and catchers mitts so we're gonna get a really big uh, tutorial series going also other different tutorials mixed in as well but let me jump right into it so first decision you want to make when you're going to be breaking your glove is how you want to squeeze your glove do you want to hold it traditional do you want to hold it two in the pinky like how i hold it do you want to hold it finger in that's going to dictate a lot on how you're going to squeeze the glove and how you're going to break it in next thing is how do you want to actually squeeze the glove do you want to have it with a one hinge break in like this see one hinge or do you want to have it a dual hinge break in like this? Sometimes the pattern will dictate that for you guys. Um, I do not have a single hinge break in glove here currently. Um, I don't have my NP anymore, so all my gloves are Pro 200. So uh, dual hinge um, is the you know common break in. So um, once you make that decision, that's going to be where I would say to start the malleting. So you know obviously you're going to want to play catch. That is the best way to break in a glove, no doubt at all. But mallet is a good way to speed up the process a little bit so what I usually do is I'll start with the break points so I'm gonna come here I'm gonna mash the one break point I'm gonna come in here do the same thing with the other obviously you know you're gonna hitting it much harder and much more repetitive I just don't want anything rattling in the video or being super overly loud so once I establish my break points that's really the foundation of the breaking of the glove in so what I like to do is I like to go in and loosen up the fingers as you guys can see um, that's not something that everyone has to do necessarily um, it's just something I like to do personally so once I loosen up the finger it usually is going to give me that bowl pattern that I'm achieving or want to achieve and I'm going to just mallet up the palm I'm going to try to keep everything nice smooth and consistent then I'm going to jump into the web and the bowl of the fingers as you guys can see I want that bowl I think it's best because I feel as if the ball rolls into the pocket every time as I'm fielding it on the ground. So I'm going to pound everything right in here. Pound, 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 pound. I'm going to go right in there with the web as well. So that's really the, the ground concept of it. Um, I'm just going to switch to the Dunamis just to show you because I'm also malleting this one. I'm trying to keep really similar concepts, guys. I want to just mallet, mallet, mallet everything very consistently. Um, as often as I can um, you don't want to force the glove to squeeze that's how creases get caused so when you first get the glove I would say just put your hand in it and go to town you could just sit there watch TV watch videos do whatever you guys want to do watch a game and just pound the shit out of your glove you know I apologize if you, I hope YouTube doesn't take down the video because I said shit oh said it twice um, you really want to be consistent with um, where you're mounting it um, play catch that's another really good thing if you don't want to loosen up your fingers that's fine but guys creases and bubbles are caused when you force your glove to squeeze when it's not ready what that does is why it creases I'll show you on this is it'll crease up because I'm forcing it to squeeze Oops, sorry if I bumped the camera there my, um, my camera's in front of me and it will force it to squeeze so Basically, what leather will do is it'll take the pattern of le path of least resistance. And since I'm forcing it to squeeze, you can see, even see right here how it wants to bubble up because it's not ready to squeeze in there yet because I'm holding it traditional and I don't ever hold this traditional. So I'm just going to go and just slowly close and you guys can see it wants to take the shortest path and that's through this and that makes means it wants to bubble. But now when I hold it to the pinky like I hold it, you guys can see it's really nice and smooth in that same exact spot so make sure you guys are doing your work as far as the mallet goes um, you can pick a mallet up at, at any sporting goods shop really um, you can get them from different companies 
this is a tattoo mallet. Um, I know Victus makes them, TWR. A lot of uh, woodback companies do make them, and they're really helpful. You can just buy a no-name one from like Dick's or Models, and it's all the same thing. You could really just throw a ball, and it's a similar concept. So make sure you guys are doing the work there. Play a lot of catch. Don't get me wrong. Um, that's I would say is the number one break-in method is actually playing catch. Um, between mallet and catch is how I break in all of my gloves. A lot of people talk about hot water. Um, I don't use hot water to break in gloves. I use hot water to form my gloves if there's an issue with it, how it's naturally formed. Um, if you guys want, I could do another tutorial on that. You guys really seem to enjoy um, the tutorial, so we're definitely going to keep sticking with them. Um, I kept this video very basic because I think that's the best way to um, get through to you guys is to keep things really, really simple. And, um, you know, from there you can get into different steps and, you know, how you want to do different things and playing catch with a softball versus baseball and developing a pocket. And that's all well and good, but I do want to keep this very beginner for right now. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, comment, like, subscribe if you did. Um, if, you enjoying, if you are enjoying these tutorials, please give it a thumbs up and a comment. Just let me know. And until next time, have a good day.